So next up we're looking at the DJI Mini 4K drone and this one here is the Fly More Combo Bundle. Okay, so carry case is included in the box with a nice shoulder strap to go with it and everything is neatly arranged as you can see. Accessories and extras over here. So we've got a, a few bags of additional propellers. We've got a Type-C to USB-A charging cable and then we've got another two short charging cables and over here we have a small screwdriver. The Fly More package comes with three batteries. This is a 2500 milliamp hour battery and you get three of these with a multi-charger. So you just plug the power in, it will charge all three batteries at the same time. You've also got a USB-A port, so you can use these batteries to charge your smartphone, say in an emergency. So it becomes kind of like a power bank. You've got a controller over here. And in case you're wondering where the joysticks are, they're actually kept at the bottom of the unit. So you can take them out and screw them in. You've got a section for your smartphone. So that does extend out so you can put your smartphone You've got a camera button for recording and taking pictures. And at the bottom, you've got a Type-C charging port so you can charge the controller itself. Up on top, you've got a charging cable and I've actually opted for a lightning cable because I'm going to use my iPhone. So you've got two other cables here, Type-C to Type-C if you're going to use an Android phone. So what that actually means is you can grab your iPhone, stick it in place. And then if your iPhone needs a charge, you've got yourself a lightning cable there, plug it in. So you can see the iPhone starts charging immediately, but not only that, it also automatically opens up the DJI software. And over here you can see how much battery you have left. So again, if you plug in a charger, you can get this thing charged up in no time. You have a connection guide to get you started. Over here you have camera settings, normal, cine and sports mode. Over here is the drone itself. Um, and it weighs only 249 grams. One of their lightest drones, we so we take off this cover which will then allow you to open the drone out. The battery compartment is on the back and you've got a micro SD card and a type C charging port as well, directly on the drone. You've got a cover for the camera. So it's a 4K camera on a gimbal. It can shoot up to 4K 30 and 12 megapixel photos. 10 kilometer maximum video transmission, wind resistance up to 39 kilometers per hour, Maximum altitude, this can go up to 4,000 meters high. You've got GNNS, IR sensing, one key takeoff and land, and you've got smart return to home. You've got low battery and fail safe as well. Easy modes, you've got helix, rocket, boomerang, droney, circle, and pano. The whole point of having a drone this light, 249 grams, means it's regulation friendly. So you don't need a drone pilot certificate to fly this in the UK. So this is within the law, very easy to use. And let me quickly explain some of the modes. Drony mode. So the drone will fly backwards at an incline, keeping you in focus, but panning out to show you the scenery around you. Rocket mode will keep you in focus and the drone will ascend upwards, giving you a wide view of your beautiful surroundings. And boomerang mode is pretty awesome. The drone will fly around the subject, ascending as it moves around you and then ascending as it returns. And then you've got panorama mode. So you can shoot spear or wide angle, 180 degree panoramic images. Now, let me tell you what this thing doesn't have. It can shoot 4K30, but it doesn't support HDR. There is no true vertical shooting either. And the follow me mode doesn't exist on this drone. So this drone can't follow you around. But saying all of that, this is a very fun piece of kit. Very good quality video recording.